Welcome to the Lifting and Rigging channel. Today, we are here to talk about the CM Quick Connect hooks, and I'm joined by Matt Flerjancic from Mozilla, Rob Bruno, and Will Gerber from CM. And we're going to talk about one of the product lines that they carry that's designed specifically for synthetic slings. So why don't we go ahead and jump right into it? Excellent, Mike. Thanks for having us today. What we want to talk about today is the CM Quick Connect hook. It's a hook designed specifically to integrate into synthetic slings, whether it be flat web nylon slings or polyester slings, polyester round slings, high performance round slings, or even some of your UHMPE high performance rope slings. We added this to our product line as synthetic hooks are becoming, or synthetic slings are really becoming kind of the norm in our industry, right? They're lightweight, they're less expensive, they're easier to use, the riggers appreciate them because of their weight and so on and so forth. And the traditional method of attaching hooks was always to have the sling fabricated with the hooks on it. So this is a way to have add hooks to existing slings, or even for you know companies who fabricate slings where they have stock slings and somebody needs a hook on it real quick, they can just pull one out of stock, slap the hook on and send it out to the customer in a very timely and efficient manner. This hook is designed to incorporate into those slings with reduced bearing stress. So as you can see on, on the standard hook, would be an I-shaped type hook. So in that circular area, you have to run some calculations called bearing stress. And depending on the size of the sling you're using and so on and so forth, WSTDA recommends 7,000 PSI or less, okay, of your bearing stress on that sling. So a lot of times you have to use an oversized hook or you have to use an additional connectionary hardware such as a shack or something of that nature, which adds weight, sling cost, inspection time to the sling. So with the quick connect hook, as you can see, there's a flat bearing surface up here, which means you have full contact with the sling and you don't have to take any reduction. You don't have to oversize your hook. There's no need for additional hardware. And the reason it's called a quick connect hook, well, simply because you can open up the latch and slide a sling right onto there. So I simply go like this, I secure my sling right in and now my, my hook is attached to my sling. What's great about this is it allows me to remove this hook if the sling becomes damaged. It allows me to remove the sling from the hook if the hook becomes damaged. So I'm not throwing away the entire unit or, or spending time going through that. I can simply discard one or the other. Some of the other benefits to this is again, because of that flat recessed bearing surface, you have um, secure sling contact. They're also color coded. And just to note, color coding is not standard in the United States, okay? but it's color coded to the common colors. So what we always wanna say is it's the most common colors, but always refer to the working load limit stamped on the hook and the working load limit that's gonna be on your sling tag to make sure you're using the correct hook with the correct spike. And again, we, we carry the purple for 2,600 pound vertical. We carry the green for 5,300 pound vertical, yellow for 8,400 pound vertical, and the red for 13,200 pound vertical. A lot of people say, well, why not blue? Because when you get into that 21,200, that 21,200 pound market, the hooks tend to get real big. And, and you know, you, you kind of lose the ease of weight and ease of use of that quick connect hook. What's also nice about these hooks is they meet all ASME B30.10 standards, which covers hooks, okay? They are stamped with name or trademark manufacturer, working load limit or size, okay? They are domestically forged here in the United States, and it's one of the only quick connect hooks that is domestically forged. So talk a little bit about the problem that existed that led you guys to create a product like this. What, you know, what's wrong with just using a regular sling hook on a synthetic sling? One of the issues with using a regular sling hook on a synthetic sling is the ease of that. And what I mean by that is if I'm out in the field and I'm getting ready to do a lift and I realize, oh, I need a sling with a hook on it. If I don't have that, I have a couple different options. A, I got to go to my toolbox or my tool crib or my truck, and I got to try to find a shackle to then fit over my sling and then fit in the eye of a hook that I have laying around and make it all together. What did that do? That added weight, added inspection time, added cost, because now I have more components attached to the sling. Also, or let's say I didn't have a, a spare hook or a spare shackle around the construction site or job site or wherever. I'd have to go back to my sling manufacturer and say, hey, can you fabricate me a sling with a hook on it? Sure. No problem. Chances are they don't have those in stock because everybody wants something a little different. So then I have to have the sling fabricated to the hook. Okay. With a quick connect hook, if I buy a couple of these in the in the common sling sizes I use, I can just have them in my tool crib or my toolbox or my truck. 
I get into a situation where I need a hook on a sling. Again, I can quickly just attach it to the sling, make my lift, take it off the sling when I'm done, put it back in my toolbox or, you know, leave it on the sling or whatever it may be. Another problem it solves is, is the, the, the ease of inspection and use. Oftentimes when we have these elaborate assemblies, either with shackles or connecting links or fabricated on there, we really have to do an inspection of the whole unit. And if there's damage, chances are we send it back to the sling manufacturer, they cut the sling off, use the hook again. Then we get into, well, is the hook worn too much or this, that, and the other thing. With this type of application, I can simply take the hook off, inspect the hook, put it aside. If the sling's damaged, go right to my tool crib or so on and so forth, grab a new sling and put it right back on the hook. I'm really reducing my downtime, reducing my inspection time. I'm reducing the overall cost of the operation. So it's really solving that, that pain point of ease and accessibility of attaching a hook to synthetics in a timely cost efficient manner. I was reading on your website about the quick connect hook. And one of the things that it said under benefits and features was that it's embossed for worldwide use. What does that mean? So again, uh, embossed for worldwide use is uh, it meets ASME B30.10 standards, which is what we use really in North America. What you'll also notice is it's got the CE marking, which means it meets European standards. So your EN standards. So basically wherever this hook is shipped in the world, it's gonna meet the standards pertain to that. And realistically, CE and ASME are kind of the two that everybody really follows, depending on where you're located in the world. Okay. One of the other benefits that I, I read was that it prevents bunching. Um, mm -hmm of the sling. Can you explain how it does that and how important that is to prevent? Sure. So a lot of times when you have a, a synthetic or even a flat web with a um, eye hook in it, you know, the, the eye hook is kind of small where that sling goes through. So oftentimes, a lot of times sling manufacturers will oversize the hook. Okay. And they'll give you a bigger opening to put that synthetic through because of bearing stress and it, it looks nicer and it actually performs better. But oftentimes, sometimes, you know, the hook ends up in an eye that's not quite large enough. And what happens is that sling, where that sling's in contact with that eye, will begin to bunch up like this in that eye, okay? And what that's doing is putting undue stress and tensions on the edges of the sling and could actually cause damage or even premature failure because you've got a lot of localized tension and stress in that area compared to with the uh, quick connect hook has that flat bearing surface. So when this sling sits in there, there's no way it can bunch up because it's sitting completely flat in there. Okay. So it's distributed clear across that. So well, what are some other products that are kind of similar to this on the market and what makes the, uh, you know, what separates the CM quick connect hook from those that are kind of out there that might, you know, be specialized just for the synthetic slings? Well, uh, you know, a lot of what I see on the market right now is um, is imported. So we are one of the few, and I, I don't know if there's any direct competitors um, on this in the United States that have a domestic offering, but a lot of what I'm seeing out there is coming in from overseas. And, and most of that is, is coming from, you know, Asian markets somewhere, somewhere over there. So you know, our big advantage is we we're making these here in the United States. It's it's in our forging plan. It's with American Steel, and we're able to control the manufacturing process on that. And you know, on top of that, we've got distributors like Mozilla here in the in the U.S. that stock these things, so they're readily available and on the shelf and ready to go for use. So, what are some of the uh, what are some of the best fit applications that you guys see for using this product out in the field? Well, you know, what I see most often um, where we've had a lot of success with these is light construction. So, um, you know, anybody that's using mobile cranes, they're, they're making quick lifts, quick moves, that type of thing. Um, we've had a lot of success in the HVAC market when you've got um, contractors with mobile cranes lifting the HVAC units up and, and setting them on top of buildings and that, that type of application. You know, anywhere where it's, if you start getting into like high heat applications, you've got sharp edges, um, you know, obviously you're, you're going to stay away from that with your synthetic slings, which is going to eliminate this product. And, you know, we're going wire rope or we're going chain in, in that type of uh, an application. Um, what other, what other features or benefits do you guys want people to know about these? 
I think one of the big one of the big things we 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 want to focus on with this is is a it being a domestically forged strong and reliable product. Of course, with the Columbus McKinnon name on it, which goes with all the rest of our rigging and our forgings, right? The second thing we we really want to hit on that uh, everybody really needs to realize is the the ease of use of this product. I mean, it's it's very simple, right? Again, it's the ease of use, the quickness. And, and really the safety aspect that goes into that, eliminating a lot of that confusion. Do you see more of it being used with the round slings or the flat web slings, or is it, is it fairly equal? I see it used more with the round slings, Rob. I don't know if you've seen something differently. Yeah, it, it, it definitely integrates into the flat web slings, um, but it's definitely more uh, round sling focused. Um, okay. A lot of people just kind of, so I think a lot due to the color matching. Um, they, they just associate it more with round slings and round slings tend to be used more on those type of applications than uh, synthetic flat web. So yeah, it's, it's, but again, it could be used for both. Even you can even get into the high performance rope slings now with, them, you know, depending on the capacities. Well, uh, I know something that a lot of our, our sales people deal with in the field is the replacement latches for the hooks. Is that something that's readily available for this product? If a customer needs to replace that latch to get the hook back in service. Absolutely. And it's, it's our standard latch that we use on our, on our other hooks. So it's not like you got to get some special latch. This is a standard latch that's in stock, ready to be uh, shipped out at any time. Well, thanks everybody so much for watching. I uh, hope you were able to learn a little bit more about the CM quick connect hook product line. Uh, Will, where can people go if they want to learn more about CM and the CM product line? Sure. Yeah. Visit our website at columbusmckinnon.com. We've got all kinds of uh, useful resources on there, product information, uh, parts lists, whatever, whatever you're looking for CM related, you can find at the website. Excellent. And you can always visit mazellacompanies.com to see a full list of all of the CM products that we carry as well. I'd like to thank Matt, Will, and Rob for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks.